Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? I hope you're all having a fabulous day today. And boy, oh boy, what a couple of days. So what we're going to be talking about today is Coinbase. So the ticker symbol C-O-I-N or coin and the recent IPO or direct offering, technically speaking, which has had a massive impact on the whole cryptocurrency market and is just obscene i don't even know what to make of it like that if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like subscribe drop a comment down below let us know what you think and join our discord and telegram where you can properly interact with myself and sam have upcoming information what we're invested in all the rest of it become part of the community we are in two telegrams we're part of the nakd telegram and we've got our own telegram and honestly the communities in both are just amazing so be sure to join it so without further ado let's get into the video quickly i would just like to remind you all i study economics and finance at university and i'm in no way shape or form an economic advisor so please don't take anything i say as a economic or like economic advice financial advice any of that make sure you do your own due diligence all stocks are battlefields we can only find the stocks for you we cannot fight the battle for you yes yeah, so please make sure you do your own due diligence so what is coinbase well coinbase global incorporated also known as coinbase is an american company that operates a cryptocurrency exchange platform so essentially like we use trading 212 Robinhood, etoro weeble any of those lot for trading purely stocks and other kind of bonds and all the rest of it Coinbase is solely for cryptocurrency. Now, one interesting thing about Coinbase is they don't actually have a physical headquarters. Everything is operated remotely, which again, when you look at expenditure and stuff, this saves them a lot of money. So already you can see they're gonna be quite profitable because their overheads are so, so limited. So what has happened with Coinbase and why are they so up in the news at the moment? Well. On Wednesday, Coinbase went with what is called a direct listing on the US stock market instead of an IPO. So a direct listing, which is considered an alternative to a traditional IPO, is like it creates no new shares. It only offers existing and outstanding shares and no underwriters are involved at all. So only shares that have already been created are sold they don't create and liquidate the market with any new shares which is one of the reasons why it opened at such a high price so on wednesday the company stock opened up at 381 dollars a share this was up 52.4 percent from the reference share price of 250 dollars set on tuesday so the 250 dollars a share that was set on tuesday valued the company at 99.6 billion dollars this is like that's just insane for this company they have a like they're valued higher than the company such as bp like massive oil companies aren't worth as much as this company. This then proceeded to climb as high as $429 a share before it retreated back to $328. So by the time it finished on Wednesday, it gave it a kind of a value of 85.7 billion dollars, which again for what it is is a significant like that's a significant value and that kind of shows and relates to how the world is going with all of the crypto sector one notable thing when it comes to coinbase is the impact that has had on the rest of the crypto kind of sector now what do i mean by that well for example on wednesday when this all came out bitcoin touched an all-time high of sixty four thousand eight hundred and sixty nine dollars which is just when you think about it, 2013, when Bitcoin was like this whole Bitcoin bubble was going on and whatever, that was set at like two to three thousand dollars a coin. Like the growth that Bitcoin has experienced, and it's only going to get bigger with the likes of Tesla now accepting it, with PayPal accepting it, 
all these other firms are now accepting cryptocurrency as payment. I know it took a slight slump the other day because Turkey banned it. However, Turkey will soon unban it when it becomes just common practice in every other country worldwide to be using this. Now you say, Josh, how can this be profitable? What is happening with this? Well, what I mean by it is profitable. So this company does make revenue. It's not a zero commission company. So it takes a small cut from the cryptocurrencies traded on its platform. And the fee varies from country to country and region to region and currency to currency. So it's not like Trading 212 or Robinhood where they're commission free. They do take a cut. So it's not as easy to day trade on due to the commission that you've got to pay for each transaction. So as I keep banging on about how this company is very profitable, as a result of the Bitcoin raise, the company revenue increased almost tenfold to 1.8 billion in the first quarter with a net income of 730 million, which is just obscene. The one problem that is tied in with Coinbase and Coinbase have come out and they've said this to shareholders, their revenue is directly affected by the value of cryptocurrencies. However, that isn't a worry to me personally as an investor because I look at it, cryptocurrencies are only ever going up at the moment. Bitcoin, if you look at its timeline, it's normally on a four to five year peak and then there'll be a slight trough and then it will go up again. So that's not a massive worry to me at all. So this company is not just about trading. This company is about having an applicable use for cryptocurrencies. So last year, the company introduced a Coinbase card. It's a Visa partner debit card that allows crypto to be used for payments and purchases online and in stores as well as using it for cash from ATM machines and withdrawals. It's just, they are stepping into the future and leaving everyone else behind at this moment in time. Just that alone is going to attract so many more people and it's going to add so much value to cryptocurrencies because they're now not just something that you can only use on the dark web. They're something that you're going to be able to start using in everyday life. As well, so I don't know about you guys, but Coinbase, I'd heard of it before this, but it wasn't really a big name that I had heard of. At present, the company now has 56 million verified users, 7,000 institutions and 115,000 ecosystem partners in over 100 companies or 100 companies, 100 countries using this platform. So it is growing and it will continue to grow, especially with the hype around all of this IPO and the direct offering and all the rest of it. It also employs over 1,700 people across the world. The company has also so far raised $408 million from various venture capital investors. So the New York Times has also come out and they've done a report. Its largest shareholders and investors are Anderson Horowitz, Tiger Global and Paradigm. Uh, who are a crypto based kind of crypto focused investment firm So that is all from me guys if you're wondering why I've changed it's because the whole audio thing for my Outro went just yeah completely messed up. So it's a couple of days later. We've sorted a couple of things So that's all I fully hope you enjoyed the video I know as I'm kind of recording this there's been a massive market dip without the whole crypto sector. So again, presents a really, really good opportunity to buy because crypto is only going to become more widely used. But yeah, that is all from me. I hope you have a fabulous day and until the next time, take care guys.